G'day YouTube, it's Marty from Music Video Muster. I haven't uploaded anything to YouTube for quite a while, and that's because I've been really busy putting a lot of time into my eBay store. This channel started out as a way for me to talk about my music DVD collection, and I intend to still do that, but I wanted to make some videos showing you how I go about reselling CDs and DVDs on eBay to give you a bit of an insight of how I do it and how potentially you might get started too. By the way guys, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, please share the video if you like it. My channel is still growing and whatever you can do to support me to help the channel to grow is very, very much appreciated. So one of my favorite things to do each week is to go thrifting. I have a few op shops in my local area that I visit frequently. And today when I went thrifting, I found eight CDs that I decided to buy for a dollar each. And I wanna do a little experiment to see how quickly they sell on my eBay store. Now this channel is primarily about music DVDs, but I found that CDs actually sell better on eBay. And that's why I want to share these CDs with you today. Okay, so how am I going to go about listing these CDs on my eBay store? First of all, I'm going to give them a good cleanup. I'm going to polish out any scratches out of the disc uh, if necessary. I'm going to clean up the jewel case, maybe give the jewel case a bit of a polish if I think it needs it. And then basically what I'm going to do is search for each item on eBay. I'm going to match the condition and the price. I will always offer free postage with my listings. So if the comparable price on eBay has postage as a separate fee, I'm just going to consider the combined price of the item plus postage and match it with my own listing. Also, I always enable best offers on my eBay store. So if the comparable listing has best offer enabled, then there's nothing to change. But if the comp does not have best offer enabled, I'm going to mark up my listing by 10%, uh, just so that it gives some flexibility for uh, negotiating down to the same price. All right, the first item that I found today is Aerosmith, Little South of Sanity. So this is a double CD and I looked at the discs, I always check the discs before I purchase them and they're in good condition. There is um, a little bit of a wrinkle on the spine inlay here, but I'm sure I'll be able to flatten it out. Next up, we have the very best of Elton John, double CD. Disc two was actually loose in the back, so I'm gonna have to polish the disc and uh, get the surface scratches out of that. If you haven't already seen my videos on polishing out the surface scratches of optical discs, please see this video linked up in the top of the screen. Next on the list, I've got an Aussie hip hop band called Hilltop Hoods, and uh, this CD is called Drinking From The Sun, Walking Under Stars, Restrung. So I'm not sure what the restrung means, is if this is a remix album or something like that. The disc had just a couple of surface scratches that I'm going to polish out, but um, I think for the Australian market, this should do fairly well. All right, the next CD on my list, I've got Smashing Pumpkins, American Gothic. Now, um, this one looks like a, some kind of EP. It's only got four tracks on it. It's got a high potential to sell quickly but it just depends how in demand this particular item is. Okay, next in the op shop, I found a jazz CD and it's still in the shrink wrap. This is called Jazz After Hours with John Coltrane. On the back, it still has the HMV sticker where it was bought originally for $5, but I think I'll be able to get a lot more than that on eBay. Next up, we have Paul Simon Graceland. This CD is in good condition. The jewel case is even pretty unscratched and it includes CD-ROM with some extra features on it. Next up, we have an Australian rock band called Silverchair and this is Diorama. It's really like not 
a particularly rare item. It just really depends uh, on the price that it's listed for and I'm not sure how quickly it's going to sell but let's wait and see. And the last one that I want to talk about today, I found this, it's a double CD Mike Oldfield. So we've got Tubular Bells and Amarok uh, in a fat pack. The CDs are in pretty good condition. The case itself is, you know, it looks really old. It's a little bit scratched. There's a bit of a crack on the back, uh, but I will be able to make it look more presentable. After listing these CDs on eBay, I'm going to monitor them and I'm keen to find out which of the eight items sells first. Now, this is not a scientific experiment. Of course, there are so many variables that can come into play here, but it's just for a bit of fun and perhaps also there is some wisdom to be found in the way that this all pans out. So we're going to see which item sells first, second and third. Uh, and then after that, depending how much time has elapsed between now and the sale, I will decide whether I continue to uh, monitor the unsold items or just finish the video at that point. All right, let's get busy and start listing these items. Okay, so all eight CDs have now been priced and listed and the race to find out which CD is going to sell first, second and third begins in three, two, one, let's go. 24 hours later. Well, it's actually less than 24 hours later, more like 22 hours later, and the first CD has already sold. And this one surprised me, actually. It was Silver Chair Diorama. Because there are so many listings for this particular item on the market at the moment, it drives the price down. So I originally had this item listed for $7.15 and that matched the lowest listing that I could find at the time with a similar condition. And already that's not a very big profit margin at all, just a dollar or two. And when I saw that there was an interested buyer, I sent an offer for 10% off and it sold for $6.75. Now on the one hand, I'm really happy that this sold so quickly. On the other hand, I really didn't make much profit from this, probably cents. Uh, I haven't calculated it exactly, but after you take away $3 for postage and also eBay's fees, it really doesn't leave very much left over. However, I think this was a good deal for the buyer and it's another item sold. One week later. Okay, it's been almost one week since the initial listing. In fact, it's been six days and when I woke up in the morning, I found that Elton John had sold for $9.98. That was the original listed price. So I think that was a pretty good price for a double CD. It was in very good condition. And for me to post this, it's gonna cost $4.50. So when you take out the postage and eBay's fees, it doesn't leave a whole lot left over. Again, Elton John has quite a wide appeal to a large audience and to be able to find this kind of item for under $10 is a pretty good deal. I didn't make a big profit from it, but I'm glad that it's sold. Two weeks later. Okay, now it has been two weeks and three days since the initial listing and I finally got a third place in this CD selling race. Third place winner is Hilltop Hoods which sold for $16. Now this is the kind of sale price that you wanna aim for on eBay to make some decent profit. I bought the item for $1 and I flipped it for 16. Still, I had to take out $3 for postage and some fees from eBay, but that leaves me a decent kind of profit margin. This one took a fair bit longer to sell, maybe because of the higher asking price. And obviously compared to someone like Elton John, it just doesn't have that wide mainstream reach. I'm really happy with this sale. $16 is very good. And I contacted the buyer as I always do when I send untracked items. I send a little photo to show that I've actually posted the CD. And the buyer actually replied to me and said that he was really excited to get this album so I think we've got a happy buyer and a happy seller 
It's a win-win situation. Now, since it has been over two weeks since the initial listing, I'm not gonna monitor this anymore. Let's just end this video knowing who came in first, second, and third place. I honestly thought that Mike Oldfield would have been in the top three, and I didn't expect Silverchair to sell very quickly at all. So what I've learned from this is that price is really important, may be the most important thing, which determines how quickly your items will sell on eBay. Of course, this was just a very small selection, just eight titles, eight random titles that I found one day in the thrift store. There are lots of other factors that I didn't take into consideration, like the sell-through rate, but this was an interesting experiment for me. I hope you enjoyed it too. If you enjoyed this video today, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me and I really appreciate it. I'm really into the whole eBay reselling flipping thing these days, so I'd love to have a conversation. Let me know what you're interested in and how are your sales going. Okay guys, so that's it for today. Uh, thanks for watching the video. I'll see you in the next one.